Hi everyone, this is Bruce with Nature Calls doing a, a year with a gear review on the A-Lite Monarch Butterfly um, Lightweight Backpacking Chair. And this is it that I'm sitting in right now. It's a real uh, neat chair in the fact that it, it uh, balances only on two points. And it's, uh, instead of the four points, uh, you actually have uh, a chair that you can rock back and forth in. It's really made to rock back and forth in. Um, in one of my more recent backpacking hammock trip overnighters, I was up in the snow, in the rain, and there was nothing that was dry. And I do have a little Z-pad that I take, uh, like many do, but you know that would have been the bottom, then I would have been leaning up against something uh, that was wet. And this being, so its total weight is about 21, 22 ounces in the bag. So, you know, anywhere from 17, a little over 17 ounces for, for this whole chair. Um, I bought it used, so about two of them used off Craigslist, and I had my real doubts about it. I just didn't, you know, it just seemed like it might be a fragile setup. But I've had it for a year, taking it on quite a few backpacking trips. Uh, we love it for concerts. It's um, the right height for concerts, so you know you can only have such so high of a chair at a concert. So they're real easy to bring in. Uh, they're real easy to uh, set up, and I'll show you how, how I set them up in a minute. But uh, you know, it's just been great. Um, so here you can see. I weigh 212 pounds right now. They're rated for 250 pounds, and it's uh, you know, I can I can kind of twist a little bit in it. You know, it's not I'm I, I'm not worried about it. Um, what's nice is that you don't necessarily need a real flat spot to put the chair up. Um, all you need is two points that are fairly even with each other. They can be two rocks, or you can have a rock in between the two. You know, so I know on our Talipus, um hike with my daughter. We were right down by the, the shore having a dinner and we couldn't find a flat spot at all. You know, it was a slanted spot like that. So, but we could still put these chairs down, you know, lean back and find that pivot point and no problem. Uh, definitely one thing about the chair is, is that you've got to be somewhat nimble to get in and out of it. So if you get out, it just kind of flops on its side. But to get in it, so you got to kind of commit, commit to the sit, then you're in it. So if you have trouble getting up and down, um, you know, no, I would not recommend this chair. But if you're somewhat nimble, um, you know, it's, it's a good chair. Um, if you need to be up a little bit higher, then you get a higher chair, or sit on a log or whatever. But uh, it's, it's real good um, as far as, you know, or as putting it in your pack or on the outside of your pack. Uh, it's not that big, it's maybe the size of a Nalgene bottle. Um, I never really noticed it in my pack, but uh, it's it's a great, a great uh, purchase. Okay, so here is the uh, bag that it comes in. And it's pretty tough uh, nylon. You know, it's maybe about a foot long, maybe four inches in diameter there. On this side, it does have Kind of like molly webbing. Um, I guess you could strap this to your pack, uh, which wouldn't be a, too bad of an idea. I know, you know, if it's wet, you could have it actually hanging outside of your pack. Um, I just personally put it right in there. Um, but there again, it is four ounces for this whole bag, so you know, you could easily get rid of it. it. Has a little toggle that little line lock that. Hold it closed. And here is the whole package as you get it. It's all rolled up. You just unroll it. And here is the, the, the pole assembly. And it has a hub. And it's all shock corded. So it's real super easy to put together. Now these 
right here, these are the little rubber nubs that uh, go on the ground when you're sitting on it. And that's the only two points, so it's not a four point system that uh, you know you, you kind of have to have a pretty much flat surface. This is designed to rock back and forth. So um, when I'm out hiking, I've found some spots where it's not that even or I've just got you know, just enough space to put these two little spots and it's worked out really great. On this end, on two of them, you have a little gold indicator and then on the long poles, there's no indicator. Now on the seat itself, there's little pockets that you're going to slide it into and two of them have like the gold um, ribbon on it. So you just slip that in that side, slip it in that side, and you find the other ends. And there you have, have the chair. So here is the, the whole chair. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a heavy nylon, but it does have some nice mesh right here that, uh, you know, for venting. Um, so it's, it's not bad on the hot days. Um, very, very comfortable. And then right up in here where the uh, poles go in, that's padded too. So you're not going to get anything sticking in your back. But it's a very, very nice chair. Very comfortable. Um, it's rated to 250 pounds. And actually when I first got these, um, I was 245, and so I was really concerned uh, whether or not it would hold up, but it has held up just great. So, let's see if we can get a little different shot here. So there it is. So you're rocking it back and forth on those. I'm going to go ahead and sit in it, so you can see. I mean, it does squish down. That's the other thing about about this product is you kind of got to commit. To the sit so there you go so now i'm sitting in it right now i'm about 212 pounds and you can just rock back and forth in it uh, one thing that i haven't really done is take it into a real sandy sandy like a beach environment um, that might cause some issues getting sand in the little connectors um, i'm sure if you just kind of maybe either rinse it out or blow them out really good when you're putting it away and just being real careful that'll that'll Probably take care of itself, but I've never really done it in the sand. Um, if I'm on the sand, um, it's usually nice weather, and I'm just sitting on the sand on a towel or something. But I guess you could. But so there, uh, see, got my body weight on it, um, no problem at all. So you know, if you are looking for a chair and you are able to bend, I guess that's the other thing is you got to be able to bend and get up off the ground pretty you know pretty well i wouldn't you know if you're um, not that able to get up and down i would suggest a taller chair but if you are you know this is this is great and definitely once you're in it you uh you, know, you feel great so there it is the a light monarch butterfly uh, lightweight backpacking chair I definitely give it my two thumbs up, but it's all shock corded. Uh, they're in great shape after quite a bit of use, quite a bit of concerts, a lot of concerts. Uh, so I know it's a, it's a robust chair. Very, very comfortable. It's so nice to be able to put my back against something after a long hike. Um, and then to be able to rock and put my legs wherever I want. It's just awesome. So I don't take it on every backpacking trip, but uh, like during the winter, definitely if it's really wet, I like to take it um, and if I'm trying to say introduce somebody to backpacking uh, it makes the trip that much nicer for them so there you go thanks a lot for watching a year with the gear and it's, uh, two thumbs up talk to y'all later